Yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now, today we have, is Lil Baby doubling up? Academics talking about who he's going to get locked up. Gucci on a cap calling, 6 9 breaking records in reverse, and 50 on advice to a deceased rapper again. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. If this is your first time to the channel, grab a seat and kill some time. I'm be your time killer for today. What up, my dude? Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and like the video in advance. I'm sure we got something tailor-made for you. I see you. Now, a few days ago, we did a report on Lil Baby, who's been killing the rap game for 2020. My man's album has been number one. And track after track on my turn is a banger. I have about five of his songs on my trap list for the summer so far. Now the artist posted during the week that it's safe to say at this point, a feature from him could cost you 100K. Well, a lot of folks felt that he was selling himself a bit too short. Lil Dirk came through and essentially said, what is this, a charity? F that, make it 200K. With P from Quality Control coming behind him, nodding in agreement like a mob boss saying 200K, period. I'm sure upcoming artists that had to hunt it are throwing their phones in anger at the thought of 200 like OG King listening to me stutter. Now, so far, we haven't heard any changes from Lil Baby, but let's take a quick look at where your pockets need to be to get a hot feature from some of these artists for a sec. Now, perhaps 100K is a number you could part with. Well, NBA Youngboy in Blueface is the feature you might be looking for. Oh, but you're trying to get someone for double that amount. Well, the baby is the hot knockout artist that you might be looking for, complete with a hot rhyme. Maybe a little dance, and he might even give you a little action, if you know what I mean. And I, by action, I mean some hand action, man, like throwing hands. Gosh. Now, Future will also see you for, 100, uh, for 2K, and he might even give your girl a baby. So repeat performances may be less and less every time. Now, if you're a real baller, I mean like you could fund a few villages in another country a, a couple times over, and you got a cool mill burning a hole in your pocket. Well, you can get the music machine Drake himself, who may overshadow whatever musical abilities you might have and turn your song into a popular meme or TikTok for years to come. Or you could take that million and get yourself a one bedroom condominium. Yes, I said one bedroom condo on the Upper West Side in Manhattan, just steps away from Hudson River and Lincoln said, put that damn bagel down. I said one million, not 1.8 you're broke behind and know the lovely veronica cooper won't date you anyway dj academics was pissed you're like dj academics that's like your guy right like you're trying to be like him no i'm not trying to be like him okay i could use his ends though i was, I was feeling that pool but i digress dj academics was tight you see last week we did a story on meek mill saying that he no longer wanted academics to post his stuff and the DJ agreed but recently DJ academics went on a rant and lost it when he discussed the artist being a tad bit sensitive over posts and comments you see evidently academics stated that Meek Mill's issue according to academics is that he didn't mind so much when academics posted anything about him like a song per se but he didn't want the comments being open to the public. Like, he wanted the comments turned off. Yeah, yeah. Like, if academics posted a Meek Mill video, he wanted the comments turned off. Because he didn't want folks clowning him in the comments. Now, academics was essentially like, yo, man, haters gonna hate. Clowns are gonna be clowns. Let them be what they are. It's in their nature. And Meek Mill was all like, if they clown me, I'm going to beat you up type ish, right? Like that's not what he said per se, but it's kind of like what it was that he was saying because his friends will do the beat up, but academics was tight because he was like, I don't understand why these gangsters go so hard on non gangsters. I don't like the way that sounded like he was like, why is it that when tough guy rap artists actually beat people up on or off camera, it's usually a blogger or someone that never proposed themselves to be gangster to begin with, but, but then they, 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 they never buck up. 
I said buck on other gangsters, which is a fairly interesting question, Act. It's like a police brutality mentality where they hem you up when you're handcuffed. You know what I'm saying? Or when they're armed and you're not. The word is, in other countries, police don't have guns. Now, academics was essentially saying that these tough rappers are only tough to people that don't claim to be tough, but quiet around real G's and are in fact friendly to other thugs that might've even spoke crazy about them. Now, 50 Cent actually said the same thing. We have a clip somewhere in one of our videos, one of our 50 videos, you gotta go check it out. 50 essentially stated that if you are only tough on someone that you know, because you kinda know they style, but you ain't bout it for other people, then you a sucker. Now, word in the street is 50 is bout it. Like, he's not afraid to roll up on you. Like he, like him, himself. I seen the man walk on the stage while another artist was performing and strut around Peacock style, the artist mid performance. Now, when the artist stopped and looked at him for a second thinking something was about to go down, 50 was like, now nah, you can keep going, you can keep going, and continue to strut around the artist. Now that's some goon-ish right there. Academics went on and was like, yo, if I get beat up by Meat Mill or his friends, I'll have him right back in jail, but I'm gonna get my two mil first, cause that ain't cool. Now, I don't think I'm jail material, but you can never fully tell what you are if it hasn't come down to the come down. I right? like think about the last time you said I can't believe I did that now, Some of your ladies are looking at you right now thinking that and, and you thinking oh man She thinks I'm the ish does she though? Gucci Mane is next on deck calling cap on folks that are fronting like they partners Yes, Memphis rapper big 30 posted a pic of himself Standing next to Gucci like they've been best buds for years, like since kindergarten. When Gucci went into the comment section, yes, the comment section of the man's post and was like, bruh, we only met once, man, knock it off. In fact, Gucci stated the following, quote, Cat, stop posting me, dude. We met once, close quote. And the whole post was quickly deleted and that was all, folks, which reminds me, you know, we do purposely leave errors in these commentaries because we enjoy humanity in all of its completeness, with all of its flaws, it makes it more relatable. When I want perfection, I don't cut to YouTube, I grab my scriptures, man, come on. Now, Takashi 69 has gone onto social media stating that his house arrest is coming to an end. It's kind of like he's grounded, isn't he? Like, like, like he's grounded. 6ix9ine stated the following, quote, so I have about 34 more days until house arrest is over. 34 more days, man? About 34 more days and the air monitor, um, air monitor, I'm thinking like the, like the ankle, the air lockups, man. 34 more days and the ankle monitor comes off and the king of New York is back on the streets. Bruh, we are more concerned about you being back on the streets for your safety, partner. Everyone is essentially nervous for this dude. At least everyone that loves entertainment is nervous for this dude. And goons everywhere in the street are rubbing their hands together like Birdman. 6ix9ine has stated that he will be dropping his next video on Friday, July 3rd, right before the 4th of July, while highlighting that his last few hits have been done from the comfort of his living room. Now you gotta admit, the, the last hit you had in the living room is when your peoples hit you in the living room, which qualifies as a hit technically, but it ain't the same thing. It seems like with the second coronavirus wave, the future of tech, what up tech future? The future of tech could be vids shot in a living room. Now, when he finishes his house arrest on July 31st, he'll still be under supervised release until the year 2025 because of a plea deal he signed with the federal government in 2019. It's, it's like it's like the man has his own secret service or something like that. Like he's got more security than what seems like the president. So I have about 34 more days till house arrest is over. 
about 34 more days and the ankle monitor comes off and the king of New York is back on the street. I'm going to give y'all one more music video. Just picture this, right? I've been on house arrest. I broke a whole bunch of records. Since I've been home straight, the first song out of jail is platinum. In the world, from house arrest, I've been shooting all of the music videos in my living room. I'm going to give y'all one more music video. Picture the noise I'm going to make when I'm outside. Don't worry about that. July 3rd, a new music video. Yo, here's a related piece of information, right? A related twist, if you will. Trolls, the number one song on the charts is expected to drop to approximately number 28, making it one of the biggest chart position drops along with the song All I Want For Christmas by Mariah Carey. And we all know why that song dropped from one to nothing. It's hot during Christmas because it is one of the hottest songs during Christmas, man. I'll be running that joint, right? But then after Christmas, man, all Christmas music is done. It ceases, all right? And here is another strange detail concerning trolls that, that you know, came into my mind, my, my little measly mind, right? The song Trolls was number one, but have you been hearing it play on the radio, man? Like I listen to the radio a lot, right? I hear little baby songs left and right. Like sometimes, man, I hear a little baby song back to back, I almost said little, little baby song back to back. So I understand why his songs are, would be in the top 10 or something like that. I've yet to hear trolls outside of looking it up on YouTube. And I only looked it up once too, man. Which makes me wonder, how did it get there to number one in all honesty? Could it be possible that he lowered the streaming price to 69 cents, which I understand he did, and actually used credit cards? Tisk tisk. I know you didn't do that, 6ix9ine. You wouldn't dare do such a thing as that. Now, finally, 50 Cent speaks on meat and pop smoke for the first time, and he mentioned an interesting detail about the meeting. He stated, quote, the experience was a little weird because when I first started talking to him in the office, I was watching and he would be looking down at his telephone. He was typing at the same time. And there was a point where I'm like, yo, man, is this dude listening? So I got up so I could kind of see what he was doing. And when I got to the other side of the table, he wasn't not paying attention to me. He was just writing everything that I said down. Dead serious. He continued on and said that he warned Pop Smoke about hanging out with criminals and folks that will exploit him before ending his narrative with, quote, what you see when you talk to me is what happens when you get rich. What happened to Pop is what happens when you die trying. Close quote. Mm. Makes me a bit pensive. Yo, let us know what you think. Does academics have a point about tough guy rappers picking on bloggers and not tough guys? And do you think tough guys should take their antics to the streets and be the new police officers in your neighborhood. Yo, what could go wrong? Yo, let us know what you think, man. Yo, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Make sure you see us on our Instagram page at celebs underscore source one. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.